Okay, how about one more quick video for you? Still got the, the chop saw out, and one thing you guys want to think about always doing, and if you have, then you can get safety glasses anywhere, uh, Walmart, Harbor Freight, anywhere, um, Lowe's, Menards, doesn't matter. Um, you want to wear hearing protection usually. I usually do wear these, but just because I'm only going to cut one piece, I'm just going to use these. Um, so what you want to do is, had I marked anything, you could go ahead. I didn't make a mark on here because this is scrap wood, but say we got a mark on here. Um, you want to bring your blade down and put it on that pencil line if you've marked a, a spot here. Um, in this case, we're not going to worry about that because this is scrap wood. But I wanted to show you kind of how to hold um, this. Sometimes I think us women don't realize what we're doing and when we've learned something new. I've used the chop saw quite a bit in the last five years, but there was just a few things that I had to learn, um, you know, how to change the angle for different things. So doing the chop saw, you'll notice sometimes people will get a little too close to the blade. And so that's kind of what this video is going to be is just safety. Um, we're going to act like I marked there's a line here. So but you might want to turn your volume down for a moment because I am going to go ahead and fire this up and cut. Now, real quick before we do this, as I get ready to cut, I'm going to have my hands over here. And then when you fire up the blade, you want to leave that blade running all the way down. Cut through your piece of wood. Don't turn the power off to the blade. You want to keep that blade spinning all the way back through the piece of wood. So don't get all the way down and hit it and turn it off because you want to go ahead and make sure that blade's coming all the way back up through. Um, it, really important to be able to do that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this for you guys real quick, okay? Okay, turn your volume down. Okay, so act like there's a line there. Put your blade where you need it. Once you're all the way through, go ahead and just let go of the trigger. The blade will stop once once you bring the, it back up here. Uh, just make sure you're all the way back up through the wood and the blade is up out of the wood before you go ahead and turn the power off to the blade. The other part is, you know, I have my husky who wanted to come outside with me because we were shooting the video, but because I can't keep her safe, we didn't bring her out. And small children, we don't have the grandkids here right now, so we can leave the power tools down, and I'm not too worried, but you want to just be careful, obviously, with small children, pets, whatever else. Make sure you're holding over here. You don't want to be holding here. If you have to hold real close, then there's other ways to be able to do that. They make a tool that you can actually hold with the wood. Um, I don't usually make those small of a cut, so I don't have anything like that with me, so... Um, most everything I cut is larger pieces, but those are just some tips that I have for you guys. If you're new to woodworking, maybe you could get someone to help show you, teach you, guide you. Ed's really good about not um, getting mad or rolling his eyes or whatever, so I'm fortunate that I have a husband who actually doesn't mind me learning, and so when he first bought this, I got excited, and I don't think I let him use it for like the first two years, so... I'm going to go ahead and end this video. I hope this helps you guys. I hope you guys are having a great day. And stay safe, stay healthy, and talk to you guys soon. Bye.